Okay, hello everybody. Um, I have clearly made some progress um, in the this puzzle here, and I'm gonna try and do it as fast as I possibly can, so that I don't have to waste a lot of video time doing it. Because I think it's probably pretty boring. Um, and you've already watched me make a fool of myself many times, so... Uh... Yeah, so... Also, I just wanted to... Say really quickly that... I don't think Midnight in Salem is ever coming out. And it will haunt me for the rest of my days. Thinking about how... How... How gay that game could have been. And how her interactive did us so wrong in so many ways. <laughs> um, let's see. It's truly just... To say it's heartbreaking is like not even adequate. I like every so often go to their Facebook page just to be like, is something happening? Like... Have we said anything? Um, and the answer is always no. And I just wonder, like, what are there people do? Like, what are people doing at Her Interactive right now? That's like making this be like a real situation. Cause like they have so they have interns like all the time. So I'm like, it's not like there aren't people who can be doing work for you right now. It's like they're just choosing not to, <laughs> to say anything. Um, here's what I would like to see happen in the game. is I would really like it if there are a bunch of... It's a whole game that's all about lesbians. And, uh... I mean, that's probably pretty much it, is just that I wish that there was a whole game about lesbians, but I think that it has the potential to be so good, and it just... We will never know, guys. Also, I've tried to... Well, let's talk about something else. Well, or I guess let's listen to me talk about something else, because it can get pretty... Um, depressing, I think, thinking about how her interactive just hates its fans now. Um, so, I have tried to explain to a bunch of my friends, actually, the things that I do on the her interactive message boards, and like how this is like an active pursuit of my time. Um, and I, I bring this up because I, I did actually have to use Egg 45 for like a real purpose that wasn't just like me and Ingrid being shitheads. It was like I needed to figure out like why I couldn't trigger the text message to show up, um, which was just driving me absolutely crazy. I stayed up so late last night just meandering around in the game being like, there ha like I'm I'm clearly doing something wrong. Which wasn't true. The game just hates me and it hates women. So three, four, four. Um four. Uh so anyway, back to my topic of the hour, which was that Ingrid and I have <laughs> devoted so much, so much of our lives um, to just wasting everybody's time, but mainly cats and books because she's just, and I know I've said this before, but I wonder every day of my life, like, what is the life that cats and books leads? Like, do you think that she has like a good life 
and that she like has people she cares about or that she is saying she does that's like not harassing people on an online message board I mean I can't say that the there is hypocrisy in that I also spend my time on the same message board doing really stupid and like doofy things but I just feel like she has she's she is an enigma in every single way because I, I don't know what her life is and it seems like all she's ever done slash like all she's ever wanted to do um, is to just talk to people on the message boards and make them feel bad for the most part. Um, this is coming along pretty quickly. I'm so glad that I made myself get better at nonograms before I played this game, knowing full well that this is this was a thing I was going to have to do. Um, this next part that comes up after this though has always ha it haunts me. It haunts my dreams. Um. Oh my god. Let's see. Four, two. So this is. Um. I. Oh, this is clearly like this. Perfect. This is gonna be good. I've also tried to explain a petition to make George not a boy. I have failed every time in describing the masterpiece that is petition to make Greg not a boy. Gorge, Gorge is not a boy. Um true. And I also tried to explain once, I think, I was like, listen, this is like what Turkey Nug does. This is who she is as a person, is just making this post that Gorge is not a boy. And it's definitely not been as funny to some of my friends as it has been to me, but that's fine. Because who's, who's the real winner? me because I find it to be the funniest out of everyone. Oh my goodness gracious. Oops. Perfect. This is coming along like way faster than I was expecting it to. I remember when I first played this though I was like ready to just fucking destroy um oh no that's not what I meant to do this is what I meant to do Also, just as I've been playing this, like, I really miss Kevin Manthe's music. It's really a shame that they couldn't afford him anymore because he's the best. And his music is like nothing will ever compare. Script. Oh, this is. I actually might finish this. Shoot. Um, yeah, that's right. This is eight. I need one somewhere. Four. Two, two, one. Perfect. I think that this game does a really bad job of explaining, like, how this puzzle is supposed to work, also. Because I think you... I think that... If, if you get nonograms, like, properly explained to you, then, like, nonograms are super fun. But if you don't, then it's, like, this puzzle is 
the like just the worst nightmare that anyone could have ever imagined in their lives. <clears throat> and it's a fox, which is like pretty important to me. So, Let's see, if this is eight, nine. It's the stupid rows like this, though, that are just not fair. Did I already solve this? And I wish that Nancy would cross off the numbers at the top, which is honestly, like, pretty irritating, even in the apps that I use when they don't do it, because I'm like, it would be a little bit, like, if I had, like, a pen and paper, that would, I, would be what I was doing, but... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Five, one. This is actually... I was expecting this to take me like an hour and it's probably taken me like 20 minutes so far. Or maybe, maybe by the time I render this I'll realize that I was completely incorrect and that it took me forever to do it. Um... I tried to like keep a list of topics in my mind to talk about to make this video be less boring than watching me solve a puzzle, but like I guess that's like what the people want. And who am I to say no? Three, two, one, one. How many are there? Six. Four. Oh shoot, I don't even know what I just did. But I'm gonna hope it was right. Nope, don't do that. Done. Nailed it. Um is four probably if this if I solve this whole thing and it like doesn't work then you're gonna hear some some yells of just pure pain and suffering okay this is actually this is coming along like exactly how it should Seven, eight. Um, let's see. What else is there to talk about? Oh, uh, probably. Um, I have to like get back into researching. Mystery just doesn't cut it. Like I have to, but nope. My mic almost fell. Replaying this game has definitely been helpful because a lot of the questions I have are about this game, from what I can remember. Um, okay, six, four, oh, guys, this is gonna happen, this is eight, so this is, yeah, that's ten, perfect, so then, I just don't even, Five, three, got it. Then this five, two, two, and then three, two, four, two, two, three, one, two, one. Excellent. Five, six. Oh my god, guys, I'm almost done and I've never- I don't think I've ever solved this puzzle by myself. Like, without, um, cheating. So, I'm so proud of me. Two, two, three, four, five, five, five. One, two, three. Nope. Don't do that. Um, so Six, one, three, two, two, perfect. Three, three. Um, this is six. Oh, <gasps> oh, holy shit! A hidden compartment. 
Who would hide something here? Oh. Okay, well. Per uh. Perfect. I can't believe I solved the thing. In no time flat, so that's good. Alright, see y'all next time.